<laughs> Hello, people. Another beautiful day or night. Yep. Hope your five senses work. Hope your health and strength is good. What? And it's Tuesday night. And today the 17th. Listen to this. So you, you ever thought, you, you ever seen those uh, those SSDs? They're like 20 terabytes, right? And you see them for $100? Got some bad news for you. Don't buy them. Listen to this. I found this little article on uh, Tom's Hardware. Listen to this. It says, don't buy scammy $100 16 terabyte SSD on Amazon. I'm going to say this again. Don't buy scammy $100 16 terabyte SSDs on Amazon. Remember, I warned you. All right. It says here, it sounds fake because it is. It says here, uh, there are prices that sounds too good to be true. And there are prices that sound so good they must be fake. A portable external 16 terabyte SSD for less than 120 is definitely the latter. It says because you will get all optimistic about storage deals. Review Geeks bought one of these drives and published a teardown. In this teardown, they found the alleged 16 terabyte USB. USB stands for Universal Serial Bus. A 3.1 M.2 SSD was actually a 64 gig gigabyte USB 2.0 micro SD card installed on a circuit board acting acting as a USB adapter. <laughs> it says in other words fake. Then it says in parentheses it didn't seems to have any malware though so so that's something. Close parentheses. Then it says we've seen good 64 gigs gigabyte cards going for as low as $11 on Amazon. Don't buy those cards, okay? Yeah. It says, if you're hoping Amazon is on top of this, they're not. Type 16 terabyte SSD into Amazon right now and at least and at least 15 listings for portable external 16 terabyte SSD will pop up. Prices between $63 and $120. Put this widely implausible pricing into context a 120 $120 16 terabyte SSD translate to about three-fourths of a cent that's then in parentheses it says dollar sign 0 0.0075 close parentheses <laughs> says here per gigabyte and then it says a month ago cloud storage provider backblaze predicted that the price of hard drive storage will drop to a t to one cent, and then in, in then in parentheses it says dollar sign zero dot zero one, close parentheses. Then it says per gigabyte by 2025. Yes, hard drive storage. So a 16 terabyte H uh, hard drive in 2025 will cost about 40 more. Than these uh, supposed 16 terabyte SSDs in 2023. You were warned, people, don't be fooled. And then it shows the pricing here. Then it says, here's the thing minus the insane pricing, the listing for these 16 terabyte SSDs don't necessarily look fake at glance. Looks can be deceiving. You might, <laughs> you know what? Let me stop at glance. It says, sure, they're, they're, they all feature the same picture of ultra generic aluminum casing and they're all sold by companies with names that look like they were taken from random C A P T C A No C A P T C H A S <laughs> and then it says here uh, but they don't necessarily look like scams so and some even look legitimate if you're not paying attention for one thing, they're almost listed as shipping from Amazon. This label is supposed to be inspired inspired buyers uh, scrutiny because it means the product shipped directly from Amazon warehouse. In other words, you can rest assured that Amazon has the product. Unfortunately, that's all it means. Amazon may be technically in pose possession of this product, but it's clearly taken no responsibility for what it is and then it says in parentheses 
or rather isn't. <laughs> then it says here, uh, another thing that makes these listings look more legitimate is their ratings. Most have decent star ratings with review in double uh, digits. If something has a poor star rating but hundreds of reviews, it looks it look less like a total scam and more like a cheap crappy product than it says in parentheses, which which a lot of people are willing to accept. But if you're actually but if you actually look at the review, it gets suspicious. Many of them are clearly not about the listing in the review. I looked at these SSDs. I saw people talking about everything from blankets to bracelets to webcams and home uh, de uh, decor. <laughs> then he says here, uh, this is the result of unscru unscrupulous sellers abusing Amazon review uh, merging uh, feature. Amazon lets sellers update listings with new products while keeping the existing listing review. This is supposed to be so that sellers can add uh, variations to a product page. New colors, size, or maybe even a small upgrade, so long as it's essentially the same product. The review are allowed to stay up because it makes sense that a review of a, a review of, for example, a red t-shirt would still be useful for someone looking at the same shirt in a different color. And this is the world we live in, people. Anyway, it says here, uh, you're not supposed to update a product page with a total different product, but you can. But you can. Sellers build up reviews cred on a product listing page and capitalize on that page star ratings and review count by constantly swapping in random products, even though the inconsistency usually becomes obvious with enough reviews it's not that obvious remember amazon buyers can give items a star ratings without writing a review <laughs> and they and they also aren't necessarily the most in-depth reviewers a lot of reviews are very short and slash or generic and then it says in parentheses great colors or love it <laughs> close parentheses it says on some of these scammy ssds I had to dig through a page or two before I found reviews that were obviously uh, talking about a different product. Then it says here, uh, this type of scammy review uh, mergering is of course against Amazon's policy, but these sellers don't care and Amazon can't seem to shut them down fast enough. These 16 terabyte SSDs have been around for a while. And then it says, uh, co-lift on our uh, Tom's Hardware uh, Forums pointed out several of these scammy listings in August 2022 and Tech Radar noticed the trend in November 2022. During Black Friday, Amazon has since taken down these, taken down uh, those listings, as well as the listing for products Review Geeks uh, purchase. Amazon also responded to Review Geek recent teardown with a statement detailing their policy on reviewing mergering. Be careful people. It says here, we do not allow product listing to be taken over our incorrect information to be listed and we have zero tolerance for fake reviews. We have clear policies that prohibits reviews abuse and we suspend, ban, and take legal action against those who have violated uh, these policies and remove in uh, in in authentic uh, reviews the item in question did violate our policy and they have been removed mm. except I just searched for a 16 terabyte SSD on Amazon again and eight of these first 10 results are scams mm. be careful people this is 2023 anyway it says since Amazon can't figure out figure out how to fix these make sure you dig a little deeper before impulse buying storage mm -hmm. if the price makes you want to impulse buy that might be a sign slow down take a deep breath do your research first okay anyway <laughs> read the review and don't trust Amazon because they will ship anything from their warehouse 
be careful. Anyway, it says, if you read all of this and you really do want a portable external 16 terabyte SSD, you can find one on our list of best external SSD SSDs and hard drives. The 16 terabyte Sabrent Rocket XTRM-Q has RAID capabilities and sequential read speeds of up to 1.4 gigabytes per second. And then it says in close parentheses, 2.8 gigabytes per second over Thunderbolt 3. It's normal re uh, retail for just under $3,000. <laughs> yeah, but 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 is currently on sale for $2,400 at Amazon. And then it's, that's the end of the article. So yeah, people, be careful. Don't trust those reviews, okay? Do your research. And um, um, choose wisely, you know? Um, listen to, um, to like uh, Tom's, uh, Tom's Hardware. Um, I would say uh, Maximum PC. Um, probably PC Magazine. Um, <clears throat> Extreme Techs. Who else can I think of here? Uh, about I'm trying to think who can who, I mean who talks about tech and hardware, you know, and what to buy, and um, uh, you know, and then go from there. You know, um, if you if you see if you see a deal on Amazon too good to be true, sometimes it's, it's best to like um, call Amazon and call them and find out you know if the, if this deal is real or not. You know what I mean? And then go and then make your decision from there. But choose wisely. 16 terabytes for $100 that is fake that don't that don't exist <laughs> you know um, um, a 16 terabyte is gonna cost you some more at least up to at least uh, some more money than th some more money than that so you have to be um have to be careful in today's time especially 2023 <laughs> you know especially when these video games now especially when these video games uh, are getting so uh, so so um, demanding and complex, and require a lot of storage to, to save them. You know, um, uh, be very careful. You know, and um, trust. Don't trust reviews. You know, um, um, if you're gonna buy a hard drive, you know, <laughs> make sure it's up in the hundreds of dollars before you even like, <laughs> you know, like um, take a swipe at it. You know. Or even call, like I said, call Amazon themselves and find out, you know, call Amazon themselves to find out what, you know, what deals are real or what are, uh, and what is, and what, what is not real, you know what I mean? And then go on from there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> look, I bought a, um, I bought an Xbox, uh, I bought an Xbox One S, two terabyte for about $199. That was before the pandemic. And that was right after the um <laughs> right right that was right when the um the Xbox One X came out with the four with our four K I gaming. People were trading in their two terabyte uh, Xbox ones for for the newer model. And I got me an um Xbox One S two terabyte for 199 bucks. <laughs> right after Right after our purchases, there right after our purchases, there was three of them in the in the in the Amazon warehouse. Right after I purchased it, and I took it on, plugged it up, signed up, and everything. The Xbox One S they went up in price. Okay, there were three of them. Um, the sitting there in the, in the warehouse for one hundred and ninety nine dollars each, and I got one of them. I should have got all three, <laughs> but anyway, I got one of them in um. Right after I got it, man, they, they and then the, they went up in price, and then when the pandemic rolls around now, they're way up there now in price. So, um, yeah, good thing I got it, you know. Um, but I, 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 I did my research before I, you know, before I purchased it, though, before I purchased it. But, um, you know, a 16 terabyte hard drive for 100 bucks, uh, it's no good. <laughs> it's no good. So you have to be careful, man, and um, do your research, you know. Don't impulse buy, you know. Don't impulse buy, you know.
I remember I, I remember seeing even an Xbox One S for 199 bucks, but I'm like, I looked at it, and I was about to, I, I thought about it, thought about getting it, and I was like, I just didn't trust it, you know? You know, I didn't trust it, you know? Um, uh, uh, if it's not, like, the reason I didn't go for it is like, like, sometimes when you buy stuff from Amazon, the warehouse sometimes, they ship it right, they ship it to you right away, it's, the seller is from Amazon warehouse, and it ships from Amazon. So, um, if if I don't see that, then I'm not I'm not even gonna mess with it. You know, I, I just don't I just don't trust um, regular uh, regular sellers. You know, when they when they when they when they put stuff on Amazon for sale, I stay away from them. And I would suggest you suggest you do the same too. You know, it's like just take a deep breath and say like, is this deal real? You think, you call Amazon and say, okay, you know, I just seen this Xbox, I see, I just seen this this TV for like such and such a price. Is this deal real? Is this coming from you guys, or is this coming from somebody else? You know, so do your research, man, before you um before you purchase on on Amazon. You know, do your research. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video for y'all to enjoy. <laughs> nice talking to you people again, Chris. Still a Star Wars and Star Trek fan. Dark side. Peace.